Hey, first, first uh, issue with the Tesla, man. Spaceship didn't want to unlock this time, man. I, I just fucking flipped this right here. Hey, you either going to find yourself in the service center all the time, paying a shit ton of money to become like, shout out to him, rich rebuilds in this motherfucker, because dude, this motherfucker didn't want to open it. That's not nothing that you want to hear with your car. It's a hatchback electric vehicle. This shit open though. So show them see. how to do it. Look, come over here. So on this side of the vehicle, on the right side, you want to remove this panel that's right here. Pull this back as much as you can. And on this box right there, you'll see this black piece right here where you want to pull out from the side by applying pressure right here and pulling towards you. That'll pull out like so. You put this back in there and you hear a little noise on the trunk. Let me get it in there. It sound like that. If you hear it. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's flickering, no light. Um, yeah, so real quick, you just take this piece right here. Got to pull that back. Pull this back. And you get back here and you want to pull that black cord. It's the only black one back here. You can't really mess that one up. And just pull that thing out. You want to just keep inserting it, pulling out, inserting it. You get the noise. Trunk popped over for me, man. These handles out first. So this one you want to put this up first up here.
There's these little things over right here. Why was that shit in there? Got little battle wounds. I can live with that. So, back please. Alright, so under here. You wanna flip this torch? I got this. I'm gonna release this one. There's a little on the top. Just gonna push that down. Just like that. Now that shit has nothing to do with the fucking trunk. Bro. That's just... What the button? So, oh, let me show if it works. So now it's obviously not electric and doesn't automatically open by itself. But wait, did you pull? Did you do that? Yeah. Should have. Yeah. And it's kind of heavy to close, but. It took a couple times, but now it opens and closes. Yeah. So. That's better. I'd rather take two times to hit the button than not open at all like it was just doing. Let's um, see if we get the same signal up front. Yeah, go up there and check to see if the car is leaving. If not, it's okay. It should be for the signal, right? Oh, it's closed. So it says closed. So now your doors can lock without having to rig it or anything. So until we can get the... So now it'll open. It's just not automatically going up. So I think we need a new motor. It's a motor. It's a motor. Welcome to Black Hawk Tesla. This is our official first video, and uh, we wasn't expecting this one, but I guess it's very essential. You know, hey, we're gonna do a lot of fun mods and all of that stuff. Stay tuned for all of that too. But at the same time, I think y'all appreciate this a lot more. You know, um, I appreciate the help that I received from uh, another video to uh, kind of help walk me through this. But just run through it again. You come over here, you pull this panel off. After you take your star key, untwist the plastic piece that sits over here to, to keep this held back. Then you want to take this one right here, you pull this out like that. Don't stick it all the way back in there. Just do like that. You're going to hear the motor doing this thing. It's going to sound like that every time you do it. Um, we're gonna make sure. Let me read that right there. Um, yeah, that's how you get it open if it's stuck on you. Then you gotta remove all of the panels. And once you know how to do it, you'll be able to do it. Start with this one right here. Wedge your hands, pull it back. Move to this side, 
take one of those down, take one of those down. Then you, before you take off this main piece, you want to take out these handles and remove your button right here. So you get these out. Um, after that. Then you pop off the panel. They pop off. You might lose the popper, but just keep an eye out for them. They go back in there and it is secure. Don't worry about it. You want to get this trunk open because nobody wants to damn touch the, with a stuck trunk. That's embarrassing. You don't want that shit. Oh, um, you have to unplug these too. What? These yeah, things. you got, and then when you take your panel, this top big portion off, you gonna have these wires right here hanging. Have someone help you hold it. Yeah, it will help you. Uh, it's gonna be a little, these are a little bit tougher on you. But if you got like a little blade or, you know, something thin that can stick in there and move that out, you will be good. Just hold some weight under it. Your arms might get tired, take a little break. The last step. Oh, last step, forgot that one. Okay, so up Most here. Most important step. Yeah, this is what gets you actually operating, so. Cause if you close this. it again after those steps, it won't. So, up in here, you're gonna see, you see this little thing right here? That's connected to this piece, which is recommended for you to give a good tug to see if you can pop it open. If emergency not, release. if you can't utilize the emergency release, you wanna go in here and you see how you got this little little groove right here? That basically just bends in there like a, well, it looks like a brake on a bike, right? So that's basically how that operates. You just wanna pop that out. As soon as you pop that out, you should be functional. You should get your, your trunk back. Um, just leave that like that. The keypad started working for me again. Um, it says closed on the inside. It's reading closed on the inside so you don't got your, your little warning beep that goes off. Um, keypad probably, did you check the app? No. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming all of the, I'm assuming everything is uh pretty much functional at this point. As far as like it not reading any signals. I'm going to close myself in here again. So I'm in the trunk as you see. Uh, this is simple. That one popped open a little bit quicker. Wait, it opened on its own all the way too. It's on, it's on. But the last two times it didn't, so whatever just happened then. Go ahead, put it back down. Worked even better. Okay, we got action. Oh, that's even better. It's Let's get a video of that. All right. Hit the keypad. Yeah, it's, it's, it's. No, it's, it's, Ooh, that's it's not working, even that big a video. It's working the same way. You just don't have. I don't even know what the difference is at this point. Closing it on its own. I oh, just hit the keypad. It's slowly going. It's just not fast. Hey, that's hey, I'm way. Confused I'm confused too. I'm confused because I just disassembled shit. <laughs> Look, bye bye. Look, keypad now. I couldn't do it with the keypad. I hit the button. <laughs> He's in the trunk. <laughs> Button. It's not making sense, Tesla. I'm gonna figure this. We just disassembled the motor and now. I just took out the motor. The, the motor. Everything is still disassembled. We're not joking. That's why I said, see, that panel don't even have nothing to do with anything else. Um, hey, don't, don't, don't crack jokes on me because I ain't no, I never plan to be a mechanic or uh, uh, electrician or anything <laughs> of the sort, you know? So when it comes down to this shit, it looks look pretty simple, right? But when you, you go out to your trunk, it's just a bad day when you figure out that you might have to spend a thousand dollars to fix your shit. But not under warranty. Guys, what right, is going so that on? Work, that shit works. Man. What what is even the difference? I don't remember it. Maybe just faster? It just ain't making no beeping noise. Oh yeah. The, the speaker. Okay, maybe the sensors are gone. It's connected to this. But sensors, you say sensors, I almost got closed in the gym today. <laughs> so I don't know what the fuck is going on, but I got trunk functionality back and that's all that matter. If you having this problem, drop a comment down below. If you got any questions, I'm about to post this one because uh, this is almost a bad day. Now I can go get my groceries.